If you or your loved ones have ever been diagnosed with cancer, this video may be one of the most important videos you'll ever watch. Because cancer, all cancers, are made up of both the fast dividing cells and the cancer stem cells. Chemotherapeutic agents clear all fast dividing cells, but they do little to nothing to the cancer stem cells. The cancer stem cells are responsible for self-renewal and tumor initiation capacity. They are resistant to all chemotherapeutic agents and they are responsible for cancer recurrence, cancer metastasis, and cancer progression. In this video, we are going to show you the five phytochemicals that have been proven in different clinical trials that show that have the ability to clear the cancer stem cells and stop cancer recurrence. The first one is curcumin. Curcumin is found in turmeric. It's been found to inhibit proliferation of um, cancer. It causes uh, DNA damage of the cancer cells. It induces apoptosis, that is organized cell death of the cancer cells. And then it suppresses the different signaling pathways that cancer stem cells use to continue to survive. The second phytochemical is epigallocatkins 3 gallates popularly known as EGCG. It is found in green tea. EGCG inhibits carcinogenesis in pre-malignant and malignant cells. And it does this by affecting a lot of transcription factors. EGCG also inhibits angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels by the cancer cells for its survival. It uses these new blood vessels to absorb more nutrients and also for um, oxygen utilization. EGCG also helps to inhibit metastasis, the spread of cancer cells, and it helps to induce apoptosis. The third phytochemicals that eradicate cancer stem cells is sulforaphane. Sulforaphane induces phase two detox enzymes in the liver. And when this happens, it eliminates all the mutagens that helps in cancer progression. Sulforaphane has been found to prevent the formation of breast cancer in rats in some studies that were carried out. And also sulforaphane inhibits uh, phase one enzymes responsible for the activation of precarcinogens. The fourth phytochemical that helps to eradicate cancer stem cells is a natural polyphenol found in red grapes. It does this by inhibiting the proliferation of various cancer cells by induction of apoptosis, which I said earlier, organized cell deaths, and autophagy. It also helps to eliminate cancer cells by suppression of different signaling pathways that are responsible for the resistance and survival of cancer stem cells. It's been found that whenever there is a recurrence of cancer, which is mainly caused by, this, by the proliferation of the cancer stem cells, at this point, a lot of um, clients, a lot of patients have said that they found out that their chemotherapeutic agents that the oncologists are using have actually developed, the cancerous cells have developed resistance to it. And so there was a research that was done that found out that if you include um, some of these phytochemicals in the treatment of cancer, it actually helps eliminate the issue of uh, resistance of uh, cancer stem cells or cancer cells to um, the chemotherapeutic agents. So it's advisable that anyone that is treating cancer or undergoing any conventional treatment, you don't do only the conventional treatment is highly advisable that you combine these phytochemicals to help improve the outcomes of the treatment. The last phytochemicals we'll be talking about is genistein. Genistein is uh, a natural isoflavone and it's um, isolated from the soybean. It helps to eradicate um, cancer stem cells by inducing apoptosis 
and also inhibit, inhibiting inflammation. Inflammation is one of the hallmarks of cancer, and including angiogenesis. These are some of the hallmarks of cancer. This is what most cancers have in common, inflammation, angiogenesis, and also genistein helps to inhibit growth and proliferation of cancer stem cells, and also reverses the resistance of cancer stem cells to some chemotherapeutic agents like 5-fluorouracil and cisplatin. So it's very important that in any treatment protocol that is, you know, put together to fight cancer, these phytochemicals must come into play to help uh, improve outcomes and prevent cancer recurrence. The link to the clinical trials mentioned is below this video. If you find this video very helpful, I would like you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss awesome videos like this. I'll see you in the next video.